Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Nassif from The Wedding League in Los Angeles, California, and today we're going to be talking about wedding cake traditions. The actual symbolism of cutting a cake started way, way back in the day, and it, of course, because it started so long ago, it has changed a little bit. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is what you're going to expect and see at a everyday wedding. One of the traditions right now is that it symbolizes the first meal that the bride and groom will share and make together. Another tradition that is, has been going on for several years now is to really get very, very creative with the cake. Instead of just having the standard uh, like three or four layered, very generic tiers with maybe some frosting flowers. So now cakes are being designed after the bride's dress, maybe some topsy-turvy. You could do like butterflies. So there's all sorts of creativity happening now with the cake. Just to kind of give you a play-by-play -play of what a cake cutting looks like, it is kind of all encompassed into one big tradition that what it, what it will be at a wedding. So first, the bride and groom will go get a cake knife, cake server, and toasting flutes that all kind of look the same. You can even buy them as a set. The next thing is that when the bride and groom go to cut the cake, the bride will grab the knife first, and the groom will put his hand on top of her so that they are cutting it together and they cut the bottom layer. Now on the cake table, either the wedding planner or the catering company would have already placed a, a plate, a napkin, and a couple of forks for that first piece of cake. And then they proceed to then feed each other. But now these days, you're, not, you're very rarely going to see smashing of the cake into each other's faces, mainly because brides are actually spending a lot of good money on having their makeup done, and they actually threaten their grooms that if they do that, bad things will happen. So you don't really see that as much, but you do still see them feeding each other. Brides and grooms are actually still saving the top layer of their cake. So as the caterers are in the back cutting it all, they're going to save it for you so that you can take it home. However, more and more brides and grooms are opting to maybe not save the top layer, but instead recreate, you can either go back to the same baker and just recreate the, the same cake so you have it fresh and it, it hasn't been frozen for, for a year. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Nicole Nassif from The Wedding League and this has been Wedding Cake Traditions.